but uh, I clicked. Oh, oh damn! Hey, bitch. I clicked the wrong option, and I ended up skipping that by accident. And I really didn't feel like going back and creating a new character because I forgot to save all the stuff I did. So do that again. I'm just, I'm not doing it. It's actually been a little minute since I've been in this particular setting, you know, and it feels kind of weird because I haven't talked or done any sort of like one-on-one -on -one time with y'all since like shit let me just kind of give y'all a little little update slash story time on what's been going on in 2022 so let me just say to start that this year actually hasn't really been a bad year and I kind of like the pacing of how everything's been going i mean fuck the gas prices and all that shit that's been going up but that's a whole nother this topic of conversation i don't want to get into um it's it's been it's been going pretty well i mean we had some highs and right now we kind of at a low but i'm gonna get to that so let's let's start with january of 2022 January 2022 was a really good month. There was a lot of things that I have gotten done. So as a side, so aside from me doing YouTube and streaming and stuff, which obviously I've been lacking on lately, I also do photography. If y'all want to follow my photography page, go ahead. I do street style. That's mainly just what I do. I, I just I just love the, the street photography. It's like one of my favorites favorite kind of photography to get into my favorite kind of art whatever um and so there was a lot of stuff i was getting done uh, me and my homie also you guys should follow him really talented fucking person uh he's also a fashion designer a fucking uh writer uh a whole bunch of shit dude is a fucking creative freak um he's probably not gonna see this but if he does then well Kudos, nigga. <laughs> we had got a lot of things done. Um, even homies, on um, aside from him, that I got a lot of like shoots and stuff out the way, and it was just really, really good. You know, utilizing my time. You know, aside from working the fucking the, the fucking nine to five, it, it's been really. It got my like my creative juices flowing and it was just a really great fucking time. It was a really great fucking month. Um, went to Miami uh, for my mom's birthday. Um, we went to the Rubel Museum and wow, I haven't been in, I think the last time I've been to a museum was probably 2017 maybe if, uh, if I'm correct on that. Um, I might be wrong, but that's the last time I remember going to a museum, and that was when I was in Louisiana, uh, visiting family. I think it was Louisiana. Was it Louisiana? No. What, what? 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 The fucking the giant arch. That's in Louisiana, right? I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, then you know, let me know, or I just might edit something to show that I was right. But anyways, yeah, that was the last time I've been to a museum. So going back to a museum uh, an art museum at that was very influential on me and it, it just wanted me to create more now once again obviously with my track record recently with uploading it's been shite <laughs> and i do have a lot of videos in back stock that i want to get out to you guys there's so much funny content that i have um i've been re i've been recently streaming a lot and I'm really proud of myself for that because I wanted to stream more on, you know, Twitch, uh, YouTube, and, and just really just, I just wanted to kind of get myself out there. We are now at 20 fucking uh, followers on Twitch. The last time we had like, what, 10? We, we upped by 10 and I'm really proud of myself for that. So let's, let's. Get 30 more followers and then let's 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 rock it out. Let's hit affiliate. But uh yeah. <coughs> yeah, January was a really great fucking month uh for creativity. Um and I, I like I said, I was really proud of myself. You know, I got a lot done that month. 
and it was it was just so it, it wasn't really good you know i was i was just constantly going out working with really great creative fucking individuals you know and hell even getting closer with you know friends and and connecting with them a lot more because it's like everyone who i'm close with like we all have a dream and a goal to get to something and you know us talking about it and also being about it while and you know doing it is what i meant i meant to say talking about it and doing it i'm gonna grab that <laughs> talking about it and doing it is it's a really great fucking feeling it's it really had a I just had a really good sense of accomplishment, you know, considering that, you know, all my friends, it's just, it's just been a really, it was just really, really fucking amazing. So I'm really proud of myself for that. February of 2022. February was pretty decent. Um, couldn't really complain. I wasn't really doing much around that time, as much as I can remember. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, February was a pretty okay month. Um, I'm not sure. I might have. I might have posted some shoots. I'm actually gonna look at that right now. Okay, so two of my last posts were in February. So, okay, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was just more so of me. Yeah, so it was like the beginning of February. That's when I was posting my shots and everything. So, um, yeah, it was a pretty, as far as like, you know, getting my photos out, you know, having a lot of other creatives and homies wanting to work with me was really, like I said, it was really influential and it just really pushed me to want to do more you know what i'm saying not just with photography but also with music um streaming you know editing videos and still writing my comic book that i was supposed to have out this year but you know it is what it is um but yeah it's just, I, I have a lot going on that i want to showcase but it's like there were a lot of moments where I would kind of just sit back and just be like, damn, like, this is a lot. And trying to divide my time with everything, especially right now, it's very difficult. And a lot of my friends, or one in particular is always telling me to, at the end of the day, not just divide your time, but focus on one thing at a time. And then, you know, everything else will kind of come easy. It's, I've been trying it's not fucking easy um, but like I said like I'm, I'm really proud of myself for the fact that I got all these such great things going on and I don't know it's just, it's just this is a lot a lot to try to balance you know I love everything that I do and it's like trying to find the time for each and every thing is just very difficult you know and with daylight savings coming in and you know fucking everything up low key <laughs> like let me just tell y'all something so how i used to operate and this is really really bad like i had my sleep schedule was already fucked up and now it's even more fucked up and my homie tells me like yo like train yourself to do this train yourself to do that but i'm just like nigga it's difficult like you don't understand like your body is probably used to it now but it's like, all right, so this is what happened. So every, so before daylight savings uh, came in, I used to stay up when like, whenever I wasn't working, I would stay up around up until like maybe three, four o'clock in the morning, editing a video or working on music. And then maybe the next day I'd wake up at like 9.30, latest, maybe 10 o'clock. And then I'd be all set. And then I just get back to doing what I was doing. Now, whenever I wake up at 10 o'clock or 9.30, I just want to kill motherfuckers because it's just so fucking frustrating. Like, I stay up until 3 now, and whenever I wake up at 9, I'm, I'm just like, yo, fuck the world. Fuck everything that's going on right now. 
I want to close my eyes, wrap myself up in a fucking burrito, and call it a fucking day. But I can't. Because I have shit that I have to do. And it's just very, very frustrating. But I am trying to change it. And I, that's, 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 that's. <laughs> but, so yeah, continuing with February. As y'all can see, I'm growing the fro back out. And I'm making sure to maintain it this time. So, ye. With all that going on, um, everything was going pretty well. I really couldn't complain. And then I hit a fucking roadblock. Maybe like two weeks into Feb. Well, was it the last? I think it was like the last week of February. I had an issue with my car, and I pulled up to work with you know with my homie. And one of our coworkers came outside and we were just, you know, chatting it up a little bit. And homie goes, yo, your car's leaking. And I'm saying, thinking to myself, well, I mean, a lot of cars do that. But the way he said it was like, no, like your shit is like leaking. Like it is like, like there's literal like fucking oil just like spilling out of it. And so... I get out the car and like I see it and I'm like holy shit like this is really bad but I'm just like well okay well maybe I'll just get it I'll just take it to a shop tomorrow you know no issue so I kind of just back the car up to a spot where nobody can like be around it because like if somebody was to like smoke a cigarette and throw it in that area a lot of people's cars or lives can be taken from them but you know Luckily, it didn't come to that, so I just, I moved my car. And so, you know, finish work, get the day out the way, and my car makes this sound. I start it up and it goes, and I'm like, there's no, no, there's no fucking way my car is not starting. It starts up, but it was just the sound that really fucked with me, so I was like, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Let me let me just not overthink that I'm gonna that my car is just like fucked. So take it to the gas station, fill up gas. It does the same fucking thing, but it it doesn't turn like it takes its time turning on. So I'm just like God please, please don't take this away from me. So Starts up, I'm like, cool. Start the car up, and then I'm driving it, and I hear the engine going. And I'm like, bro, come on, like, don't fucking tell me. Like, I, like, I was having such. I was already having. I was already having. But that was starting to take the fucking. Day. So. It's not, it's not dying on me yet. So I'm just like, all right, just let me get home at least. Let me just get home and then we can resolve the fucking issue from there. I pull, finally get to my homie's house. I get the brake. The fucking car literally stops in front of his house. The engine starts smoking. I'm about to, like, I was about to start crying. Because I was just like, bro, there's no fucking way this is happening right now. There's no fucking way this is happening right now. Now, luckily, I didn't have to work the next day. But still, like, it's the fucking print, like, the principle, like, nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, so I finally, you know, I, we, we kind of not resolve it, but... Long story short, I end up getting it towed to a, uh, a mechanics that's like two minutes away from his crib. Um, end up sorting it out. Um, basically, I got I had to get rid of my car. I had to get rid of it. I had to because the engine not only was the alternator fucked, but there were multiple like issues with the engine to where like it was kind of. They couldn't pinpoint to where exactly, like, where the leak was coming from. So, yeah! 
Yeah, I don't have a car. So that's... That's, that's fun. <laughs> so that just took the fucking... That took the cake. So it really, like, hindered me at that time. Like, I, I couldn't really do what I wanted to do. I had a lot of plans. I had a lot of shoots lined up with homies. I had, was going to be working with some other people and some other shit. And obviously, it kind of re required me to have a car. I didn't do that. So, that sucked. It really did. Um, <laughs> I think it's been about, what? Like, I guess I can do it right there. <laughs> it's been almost about, about two to three weeks now that I haven't had one. That I haven't had a car. So, you know, I've just been Ubering it. The Ubering to and from. <laughs> um, which... I'm not gonna lie, like, I used to Uber, you know, like, before I didn't have a car, I used to just Uber everywhere, and I didn't really have an issue with it, but now since I, like, like, ever since I got my car, and just been doing, like, my own thing, like, I, I just, I hate Uber. <laughs> I just fucking hate it, because it's like, and then on top of that, like, I, I, Oh man, this is a lot. This it was a lot going on. So yeah, it's been it's been kind of a kind of a difficult month. I like some other shit happened, but it it got resolved. <laughs> and it's just like at this point, I feel like life is like forcing me to grow up and to be better equipped with shit, you know. And it's just it it's hard. It fucking sucks, but it's like, at the end of the day, you have to keep pushing, you have to keep fighting, and if I didn't have the people who I have in my life, I feel like I would have been led down an entirely different path, and I probably wouldn't be the man that you guys see me right now. I probably wouldn't have had all this talent, I wouldn't have had so many great individuals that I have met and I just, I just would have been a completely different fucking person and I'm really proud not only of myself because I've come a long way personally and it's just been a fucking roller coaster like everything that I do now creatively I taught myself how to do it I don't know if I said that at some point in any of my videos but I taught myself how to do it. And one of my close friends says, I'm the jack of all trades and the master of none, which is another reason why for like my music stuff, I have I have, like two, I have several different fucking names for whatever reason, but I have two names. So for YouTube, it's Sun Rondu. You guys know the reason why I call myself Sun Rondu. And for the music, it's Jack the Artist. Now, obviously, Jack the Artist kind of explains the stuff in the center. Jack of all trades and a master of none. So, like I said, it's 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 really been a fucking crazy roller coaster. And I just want to say for anybody who's going through anything, don't give up. I'm a very optimistic person. I I really am. And a lot of people, not a lot of people. Oh, and a lot of people always ask me like how do you how are you always so like fucking giddy all the time not giddy but how are you always so like times of distress and there have been a lot of moments where i almost gave up there are so many times where i'm just like yo like this shit is too much i don't know how the fuck i'm going to move on i don't know if i could move on from this and I've had so many moments of doubt in my life, it's not even fucking funny. And like I said, I feel like if I didn't have the people in my life that I did, I feel like if I wasn't the, the person who I am, I probably would've given up a long time ago. Real shit. And uh, just having hope 
and just always believing that they're not just believing but also like knowing that there is a light at the end of this ugly ass fucking road it just it, it for me it pushes me you know because i know I, will, I i do have some friends who have who have had have, have had doubt who have you know also been going through the wrong things depression and all that and how even i'm struggling with that sometimes i still do but at the end of the day like i know i wouldn't be in the position that i am right now if not only did i have to fight for myself but that i had to fight for other people you know what i mean and it's just it's just you just can't stop fighting no matter how much it hurts you move forward, words from a fucking goat. But at the end of the day, I just want to let you guys know that I am going to bring the fucking rage. The sun run that you guys knew before, that nigga is back. I prom well, no, don't want to say promises because I don't want to make a promise that I can't keep. But. <laughs> I will say I do have a lot of content coming this way as far as the EP goes because we've been talking about this well we haven't been talking about it but yeah me and Ghost got a collaborative EP going uh, we don't have a date yet because you know he's been really busy with his channel and his things and I've been busy with you know my shit so I will say that at this point in time, it is looking like a summer jewel. And that's all I'm gonna say. But I do wanna tell you guys that as far as the production value, it, uh, it is done. I may add one more song, Ghost, if you're watching this. Didn't mean to surprise you with that one, but I gotta let you hear it. That's just why. But, um, <laughs> There is, yeah, so all we really gotta do is just do like the recording process, and then technically we're really done. But uh, yeah, so I just wanna let you guys know that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be some shit in a really good way. So I'm really, I'm really excited to show you guys this, this, this project that we've been working on together. Um, Really excited to show you guys these videos that I have planned. Um, I'm really excited to just just be back and just you know be that be that be that that dude again. Yeah. So I know we gotta finish fucking Resident Evil for like the fourth, fifth time, and then yeah <laughs> so i love you guys i will see you guys in the next video take care of yourselves make sure to drink water make sure to eat and you know there is something i want to show you guys but that could probably wait till the next video because i really got surprised with this i don't i don't trust it. <laughs> but all right guys i will see you guys later